Over the years, many of you have accused me of putting everything in my kayak except the kitchen sink. Well, I agree. I want to downsize a little bit. And today, I've got an idea of how to get rid of my bump board. Stay tuned. We all need to stay legal, and that means having the ability to measure a fish. Now, in an earlier video that I'll link up, I showed how to put some extreme limits for slots and minimum lengths just by using duct tape on your rod. But if you're OCD like I am and want to know the exact length of the fish, then you probably have a bump board. Well, I think I have a way to get rid of this, and it all comes from the guys at Quick Measure Pro. So I'm going to try and replace this with these Quick Measure Pro decals that can go either on the kayak or on my fishing rod. And they have accurate detailed measurements that should satisfy even the picky person like myself. Let's go ahead and put this on. The first thing to discover is that when you have the size for a rod, there are actually two decals inside. Now all you need to do to put this on is have the decal, the cleaning pad that comes with it, and a uh, hair dryer. I wasn't about to pull my wife's hair dryer and bring it out here to the shop, so I'm going to gently use this Harbor Freight heat gun. The first step is to go ahead and clean your rod off to make sure that there's going to be nothing that will prevent the decal from sticking. So do that. It's amazing how much dirt comes off. And then I'll dry it. And now, this is so quick, all I do is take the decal, straighten it out a little bit, undo the bottom, and I need big, bigger fingernails to be able to pry this up, but eventually it comes up. And now all I do is select a side of my rod that I want this on, put it down, and here's the trick. You don't want to wrap over the edges. You just want to put it on with the center on your rod. The edges will come later. So I'll do it right here. And I find that if you tap it a couple times to stabilize it, you'll get the right line to make sure that it's straight on your rod. Also, don't stretch it because that will impact the measurements. <clears throat> you can pop it up if you need to. I've had to do that and it doesn't seem to impact anything. So it's not like as soon as you touch it, it's permanent. I sure hope that I'll need all the way out to 36 this year. That would be sweet. Okay, I'm going to run my finger back down along the center to get the center stabilized. Now, it's just a matter of cranking your heat gun on or your air dryer, leaving it on the table, and running the rod back and forth to do the heat treatment. As you do that, that's when you turn down the sides. All done. Now one thing you need to be aware of is where it goes over your guides, you need to really squish it in to make sure that every part of the decal is in contact with the rod. But this looks pretty cool. Let me show you. There are the numbers. Well, now we just have to go out and test it in the wild to make sure that it doesn't come off in the harsh saltwater environment where I fish. We'll do that next. Okay, just to test this Quick Measure Pro to make sure it's going to stick on, I've been floating my paddle in salt water for the last hour and a half. And this decal is on there tight. I think we're good to go. This thing is going to last. If it can stand a brackish salt water that can stand up to anything. I'm looking at the corners. I don't see any of them pulled up. And even back here at the tip of the paddle where it gets a little bit wonky, no pull up at all. So the key thing, the key 
secret to success is doing that heat treatment correctly. So either steal your wife's hair dryer or use a hot gun like I did. Now it's time to use this Quick Measure Pro for the first time. Check out this fish. He's a nice one. Give myself some little slack here. Alright, 25 inches. And that was pretty easy to measure using the Quick Measure Pro. I mean, I had my rod in my hand anyway. I don't have to go dig out my bump board and get that engaged. So, I'm going to get a couple more of these and put them on my other rods. What do you guys think about this Quick Measure Pro? It's robust, it sticks. Have you used it? Throw the comments down below. Thanks.